same, right? But then a little different. Uh -huh. uh, so let's uh, let's stay with uh, the example of creating an Instagram post, right? I can uh, I can name it any way I like. I the summer campaign. Uh, it's a personal project I created. It then automatically flips to the back end, uh, which I will explain to you in a minute. But here you can see so this is the, the initial design. Uh, I see. Here there's uh, either pages or m multiple layers. In this case, it's a relatively um, you know easy example. It's just two layers, one with text, one with image. Uh, but let's say uh, I would like to change this to summer still. Big, I say okay, be a bit smaller, like this, and then well, it's still big, but you catch my drift. Uh, now let's make it somewhere forty um, percent. So this is then uh, changed in the same style, uh, and if I want to, uh, I can also change the background uh, because these are the options that that have been given to me. <coughs> Um, yeah, and it's not just random. This is because you know the designer gave me the option that there are six images I can choose from, uh, without being off brand, so to say. Um, and then I can ask for approval, uh, so I can still kind of say, okay, hey, I made this change, and then to the designer, please can you check it? Um, uh, and you send out a request. Okay. Or uh, if I download it directly, and this is an option, this is optional. You can see. You know, the design has not been approved yet, it needs to be approved before you can actually use it. And I think in this case that would be a good thing, because this still looks like shit a little bit. <laughs> uh, but it's just the text, you know, so there, there are ways to, uh, yeah, to kind of uh, make that work. So once, for example, that text you put in there, actually yeah, that's yeah. limited to that font, that yeah, colour, exactly. etc. Yeah. Does it, um, does it force it, so if, if you go outside of the area for example uh, does it warn you or is it just saying does it let you do really what you like and then you've got to just use common sense to make sure it looks okay yeah well yeah, i think well, uh, you know, uh, common, you know common, sense common sense is always, always one factor one that's nice, nice. Uh, yeah if you work with this um uh, yeah so uh, but you mean like if you go out of this boundary in terms yes of, uh, yeah exactly i don't think it, it automatically does that to be honest, because I can just, uh, you know, I can, I can keep typing and it goes down. Um, yeah. But then you just change the point size. Yeah, exactly. And users can't move things around or they can't. No, so, so if, 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 there so if, if there would be multiple layers here, right, like as an InDesign uh, kind of uh, setup, uh, then I would be able to adjust all these layers or not if you freeze them, so to say. Uh, and depending on uh, uh, the settings, uh, you can then say, okay, you are allowed to make changes in this uh, on certain variables, but only within this. So, for instance, the font size here, right? I can only yeah. choose between three or four on the PF. Okay. Uh, and that's it. But I think, uh, and uh, that kind of depends on uh, the. Um, uh, the use case or how big uh, and how many people are, are kind of using this or what kind of system you set up for this uh, yeah. but the ask for approval kind of thing uh, does does work pretty well i would say uh, for, for that so if you're doing something more complex say like a brochure um, yeah yeah is it is it uh, straightforward for the user yeah, I think yeah, so. What, what you don't get is like, uh, you know, let's say the brochure, you know, and the, the simpler it is, the simpler this is also, right? So the, uh, that, yeah, that's, that's kind of obvious, I would say. Uh, but let's say the brochure has like uh, 20 pages, then you get like the five pages here, and then on each page there are layers to change, uh, and, and people can then change it or not. Okay, so it's very similar to what you just showed. If you've got five text boxes, you'd have five layers of text. Yeah, and you just yeah. select the relevant one you want to work with. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's quite straightforward then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I suppose once you start using it, it's, it becomes a yeah, sort of a bit of training or something. Yeah, well, yeah, I think well, that's I think always the case, case, right? So, uh, uh, I think you I think need, you to, need yeah, to. Yeah, this is also just one, one page. 
Um, here you can see there's already multiple layers just on this page, right? So the okay. the more comprehensive, the uh, the more extended the design is, the more layers there are, and the more options people have to change it. Um, but yeah, the more there is to change, uh, the bigger the the probability of of people creating something that is not in line with what you like. Mm. Um, but, but, but it limits, but uh, it limits uh, the, the work or the chances of people really going out of, out of like, like off brand, brand is, is kind of uh, limited uh, quite well. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Well, yeah, if you stop people moving things around and, and exactly, changing yeah, font yeah. styles, and, then yeah, like you say, you can produce something that's on brand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And to create these templates, are these quite straightforward to create? Yeah, you can you can use your uh, like whatever your favorite like let's say InDesign, right? Uh, it's just a InDesign uh, design, and you can upload it here. Oh right, okay. Just to upload yeah. it in and then set the yeah. rules. Yeah, exactly. Clever. Um, yeah. So then, uh, if that's all clear, uh, do you have any questions about the templating part? No, I think yeah. So the approval process, if that goes to someone for approval, yeah, they then get to see it and they can. Can they change it if they need to? And yeah, so you get like, an, like, like whoever is in charge behind it, right? They get an email uh, notification with, hey, you got a request, and then they yeah. can view it uh, and, and also give comments. I can show it to you uh, now as an example. So let's say <coughs> on a project, doesn't really matter. So uh, we are working uh, here on the like uh, redesign of the, of the product page. Uh, and then this is the the sketch file that uh, that was oh, used yeah. for it. Looks nice. Oh, so you can upload a sketch file. Yeah, you can upload a sketch yeah. file as well, source files or uh, imagery, whatever. Can you upload PDFs? Um, PDFs also. Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole list of of uh, of whatever we support. Uh, yeah. I can share it with you, but like basically everything is on there. So let's say, so let's say, let's say this, this is what, what you've been working on and I'm the client or the other way around. Uh, uh -huh. And I say, okay, I really like this, but you know, uh, the logo part uh, at Mark, uh, please like uh, move it up a bit or whatever. Yeah. Um, then um, uh, you, you put it here. If you mention me, uh, then I will get an email notification saying like, hey, uh, you know, client X made a comment on a project, uh, project Z. Um, and then I can, you know, come back to this and either change it or, uh, you know, we can start having the conversation here. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I can also change the status saying, okay, uh, this uh, needs to be reviewed uh, or I can ask for approval or uh, ask for feedback here, uh, download and share it any way I like, uh, either for internal or external, uh, you know, share it like this. Um, and the way uh, that looks, you can see it here, uh, it comes back into this workflow. <coughs> so this project itself has very limited uh, assets. Uh, I can show you in the library what, what it looks like if it's like hundreds, but basically, you know, whatever the status is you gave it, uh, and you can also change it uh, around saying uh, like this. Um, and then this kind of gives you a nice overview of where is what. Um, and uh, you know you can work on a project, make sure you you get it all done on time. Um, so it works pretty pretty neatly. Yeah. Same goes yeah, here like on, the, on the project nice. um, on the projects and on the libraries on the back end side of things. Uh, you can um, you know you can give access to to either individuals or to certain teams uh, within um, uh, yeah within your company or with. The, with the agency or uh, with the client teams that you're working with, you can just say, okay, the redesign uh, project is only for the IT and for the core team, whatever. So you can invite them and you can start working on it. Mm. Uh, and the same goes actually for the libraries. So uh, here you have the media library again. Uh, this is with all the you know all the the assets that are there. Uh, the same chat functionalities. The same workflow functionalities so this all you know it's all similar uh, you can work uh, on it like that right and this is also where you create collections uh, as you can see here and do you link um say you've got a template like that instagram template do you link say a collection of images 
to it so that the user can then change those images out or is it yeah yeah, yeah you can do that you can either do it like um, uh, like uh, uh, with singles right so just uh, these two assets or you can create a folder and then link the folder to it yeah um, yeah depends on uh, you know what's the fastest way or the easiest way yeah yeah yeah, so I, yeah, think, so that's, I think that's that's very really interesting. interesting. Uh, what else? Uh, we do have like, a, uh, how do you say, it? like an analytics uh, tool of it as well. So you can uh, uh, kind of see uh, on uh, certain assets or on projects uh, how many times is it uh, uh, like used or downloaded. Um, uh, you know, do people engage with it a lot or not? Um, here, this is the analytics part. Um, so, so, you know, this is obviously mm -hmm. not a lot, but uh, in total, this was viewed uh, seven times and it was downloaded uh, six times. Um, uh, but let's say you have a publicly available website or you start pushing a first project between all these car dealerships um, and you have certain...